Hi Bruins, welcome to Ocean Waves. Ocean Waves can be a fun ride for a skilled surfer. The most massive ocean waves appeal to daredevils who know how to handle such powerful waves of water. How do these waves gain such tremendous energy? Wind causes ocean waves. Wind is moving air and anything in motion has kinetic energy. When wind blows across the surface of the ocean, energy transfers from the air to the water. The kinetic energy of the wind transfers through the water as a surface wave. The surface wave moves quickly across the ocean. Big wave surfers gliding on the face of a wave are driven by the wave's energy that is carrying the border toward shore. Energy transfer at sea. When a wave turns into a ship at sea, the wave passes right under the ship. The wave's energy lifts the ship up onto a crest. It lowers the ship into a trough behind the wave. You can observe this same motion with a surfer floating on her board. As she waits for a wave, incoming waves move under her. The board bobs up and down. The moving wave transfers energy to floating objects. Energy lifts the board to the crest of the wave. It lowers it into the trough. After the energy surge passes, the board returns to the same spot. The up and down motion is a repeating pattern called oscillation. The motion of water in an ocean surface wave is circular. Most of the water returns to nearly the same spot after the wave passes. The energy surge that continues moving is the wave. A wave graph shows the wave's energy as a repeating pattern of crests, crests and troughs. The crests and troughs on the graph match the crests and troughs of the ocean wave. The spots where the wave crosses the still water line, resting line, are called nodes. The graph shows how the motion of the ocean wave transfers energy through the water. So I'm going to read the diagram here at the bottom. The top diagram shows that as the wave moves along, the water travels in a circular path. The bottom diagram shows a water wave displayed as a wave graph. Energy transfer on the shore. What happens to wave energy on the shore? As an ocean wave approaches the shore, the seafloor acts like a speed bump. The wavelength, lambda, and wave velocity decrease when the water becomes shallow. The wave energy is maintained, however, so the amplitude or height of the wave increases. What looked like a small wave offshore now towers over the surfer. As ocean waves enter shallow water, their speed slows and their shape changes. When the wave height is about the same as the water depth, the crest becomes unstable, curls forward, and breaks. When the wave breaks on shore, it transfers all its energy to the beach and any surfers in its path. Engineers are developing new technologies that use this powerful wave energy. These devices transfer wave energy into electrical energy that can be used to power electrical grids for neighboring communities. Okay, I'm going to lower and zoom in on the think questions so that you can pause here if you'd like to write them down. Question number one, how do ocean surface waves form? Question number two, what happens as waves energy surge passes through an area of water? Question number three, what happens to a wave as it approaches the shore? Thanks Bruins, see you tomorrow.